Detective Ryan Lopez is dedicated to his job in the Los Angeles Gang Task Force. What his fellow officers don't know is that he was raised by a powerful gang now targeted by the force. Los Angeles has cornered the market on fish scale. His sense of loyalty to both secretly divides him in Gang Related. Hi, I'm Salim. I'm here with Leah and Zoriana. We've had the opportunity to watch the first four episodes of the new Fox show, Gang Related. We've all just seen it. Zoriana, what'd you think? I was very excited about the premise for this TV show. It was created by Chris Morgan, who wrote the last five Fast and the Furious films and definitely has that touch here. But like the Fast and the Furious movies, which are not strong on writing, have never been strong on that, this also isn't strong on story or character. It, it, is, it is missing a lot. There, there is no tension. And then also, you've seen this plot almost exactly, almost the exact same plot before, first in Infernal Affairs and then in The Departed. It's very familiar. And like you said, Chris Morgan, not the best with dialogue. A lot of the plot was contrived. The characters were contrived. It, none of it felt real. It felt very unresearched. And at the end of the day, it just, it just felt like derivative of many of these movies and t shows that we've seen before. For me, the biggest problem with the show is it doesn't have any originality on no. its own. And oh, it, it you know, it's Kingpin with the you know, Yancey Arias. It's I just I look at it and I just keep going, oh, that's that TV show, or oh, that's that movie. And and as a result, it doesn't bring anything original or say anything original on its own. I, I kept it. thinking of a show like Alias, which is essentially a similar premise where mm. Sydney Bristow, played by Jennifer Garner, was leading a double existence. Mm -hmm. And Every time she was doing something, there was a tension. There was a, will she get caught? It, will she be yeah. exposed? But here, none of that. Not once did I ever feel like his secret will be revealed. Right, exactly. Not, n will they catch him uh, crossing over between the two, the two sides? And that was really disappointing because yeah, once agree. you lose that, I'm gone. Yeah, right? I'm it, not interested anymore. I know this must be hard for you, Ryan. But with my bank opening up, my dad's real estate investments, soon you're gonna be able to leave this double life behind you. Come work with me. I ain't a banker, bro. You ain't no cop either. Not deep down inside. What if I'm starting to think I am? These characters don't feel honest and realistic and lived in. For example, our undercover cop, he reacts to things. He doesn't act like he's been undercover for as long as he's been. He doesn't have any forethought. He's just doing things based off of things that are happening to him and not thinking ahead like he should, like he's been undercover for however many years. And this is unfortunate for Ramon Rodriguez, who is uh, from Battle, Los Angeles, who is the center of our t entire TV show here. The problem is, is that his character is so poorly established, there is no tension. You don't really fear for him, not really. He becomes the most least interesting character on the show. He's the lead. He should have the medius role here, and it should be kind of obvious that he has the medius role. We have some really kind of established character actors. A lot of guys who went on Sons of Anarchy. I mean, these are faces that we're familiar with. Yeah, but listen, Terry O'Quinn from Lost. Okay. Totally miscast. miscast. Oh I my mean, god. Well, and he doesn't even look like he's enjoying himself while he's there. No, I think no. he's just like, oh, okay, I He got slips on this. into all of this kind of procedural ease yeah. and, and they, they pigeonhole his character like that. And I'm like, who is this guy? We're looking at a full scale gang war, and we have to avoid that at all costs. So, float the word, work your sources, kill this deal. For the last six months, this task force has done good work. But this one, it could make a real dent. And this is interesting because episode one, which was directed by Alan Hughes, mm -hmm. who, of the Hughes, Hughes Brothers, brothers yeah. um, gave us a, a decent pilot. You know, we get flashbacks, we get origin stories, we understand who this world is. And, and then we get to episode two and there's this clunky, yeah. uh, clunkiness to the direction, to the way that it's shot, the way that it's edited. Three is just a mess. Oh I'm sorry, it's just a hot mess. And then you get to episode four and everything gets to be coherent and make sense again. It's interesting. And I don't understand, I don't know if Chris Morgan has a clear vision for the entire season, but two and three are, woof, and one or four are like, oh, okay, I can watch this. So, but you, you know, your thought is, is that, mm, will people stick around? Yeah, I don't know if they will. I mean, if, there's eight directors for like 12 or 13 episodes, so I, I don't know that there's even like a clear vision yeah. Yeah. with uh, with the directors. I, I kept thinking, what would David Ayer do with mm. a project like this? Because Interesting. David Ayer's yeah. entire career is based on cops, 
Los Angeles. And this is Cops Los Angeles. And nobody does Los Angeles Cops like David Ayer. And he, he must have a lot to say no, no, about no. this show. He'd be seeing this. But it's, but yeah. he would probably add the authenticity mm -hmm. that it needs, the gravitas that it needs. Like, I mean, script rewrites all the way by David Ayer. But so then I wonder would something like Dick Wolf or even David Simon would do something with, do with this. They get the genre, they get ensemble. Chris Morgan from Fast and the Furious and Wanted, okay? And then we've got Scott Rosenbaum who was with The Shield. These guys come together and they give us something that's just Indie. Generic, yeah. generic, I mean, generic. Yeah. They, need yeah. they need to all step back exactly. and focus on the writing. Really, that's where it starts. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And if you're gonna bring someone from the Fast and the Furious <laughs> onto a show like this, and you want it to have longevity, you better make sure that that person from the future world is someone who writes of substance. Gang related is highly derivative and very mediocre. However, it's great to see so many Latino actors working on a network show, and it'll fill a void until something better comes along, I say stream it. Weak writing and poor acting makes Gang Related a very generic television show. Skip it. This is a very tepid crime drama, not well researched, silly at times, with contrived plot and terrible characters. Skip it. Well, our votes add up to one half ticket, which is a skip it for Gang Related. Cheers. 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 Anytime someone on the police force makes a reference to the gang, right. it's just like... Or, or even the fact that... They